Hello everybody, it is Titanic Project MC, and I am back for the, uh, for another update video. First one in, I think the last one was eight months ago. So, normal time frame, like I said, everyone knows, updates don't come out often for this project just because of the nature, so I apologize for that, but, um, today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter one too. Uh, I'm mainly just wanting to go over the differences between the project now and, uh, last time you seen them, which... Now that I have said it out loud, that yeah, that's every update video. But mainly, the difference is now that we're on Java Edition, uh, compared to before when our bedrock. Because as you couldn't tell, based off this beautiful water and these shaders, we are now on Java Edition. We have been on Bedrock Edition for th three years working on this project. Three and a half years now, I think. Um, and as you know, most people don't like Bedrock Edition because you can't, it's not nearly as versatile as Java Edition is. You don't have things like the debug stick, you can't really make a custom texture pack, and especially, I, mean, I was on PS4, so I was like just, you know, bare to the bones, default Minecraft, can't do anything. And I was able to, you know, work with it for a while, but now that I have Java and I'm able to have this custom texture pack that I've made up, and debug stick and the road edit one, it's so great, you can do so much more, and I can't imagine going back to Bedrock Edition now that I have Java. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to quickly, briefly go over uh, the texture pack and a little bit of the changes, some of the stuff we built on the ship as well, since you guys have last seen it. Um, so with that being said, let's just hop right into it. The main goal of the texture pack is not to do anything crazy. I'm not going to make cut like custom linoleum tiles, custom carpets or walls or nothing like that. It's mainly just to make the ship um, seem, like look cleaner and more seamless. And by that I mean making you know slabs and stairs match their respective blocks. Because black stone doesn't look like black wool, which I use a lot. And you know, I had to use like let's say birch fences to represent uh, what I wanted to be white fences, like for these railings. And now that I have a custom texture pack, I can really clean up the ship and make all the blocks match each other. I can make them look seamless, and it still looks like default Minecraft, but it also looks a lot more like Titanic. So, that's the main goal. So I just want to show you guys some of the stuff we've done with the texture pack. Um, as you can see, it's based off of the faithful 64x64 64 64 texture pack, which I like a lot. Um, so, a lot of people use that too, so it's still, I, it's still decently vanilla. Uh, you can see we have, like, you know, these custom black um, slabs and stairs, which these are, this is like a black terracotta texture that I made, which I think Minecraft should have anyways, because I think it looks really nice. So, uh, that's like a black terracotta texture I made, and I had stairs and slabs for it as well. Uh, we have green stairs and slabs and um, fences and what's it called, trap doors to represent a lot of the green stuff around the ship, because you can see now this machinery up here has once again changed. I now have it green. I'm a follower of the green theory. I'm sorry to you guys, you Titanic nuts who hate it. I've seen the evidence. I've looked into it for like days at a time where I just spent so much time researching and diving into it. And out of the stuff I've found, I'm pretty compelled that um, everything, a lot of the powered machinery was green. I don't think it's too crazy of an argument anymore like I used to. So you can see we have uh, some cool green stairs and stuff as well. Um, we have these dark mast uh, walls and stair. I don't know if I have a dark mast stair, actually. I think I do, but I do still have to change a lot of these things to reflect that. Like you can see, I still have a red sandstone stair. Uh, when I do need to change that to be um, uh, the dark mast stair. If I have it. I honestly don't know if I have one or not. What else do we got in the texture pack? Um, you can see we... Uh, this one, I was a little, a little scared to do. You can see we have what appears to be two different types of slabs on uh, stacked on top of each other, a spruce slab and a coarse slab. Uh, I was scared to like make this texture because I was like, I don't know if it's taking it too far, I don't know, like, like, does it look like default Minecraft? In my opinion, I think it still looks like default Minecraft. Maybe a l little less like default Minecraft, but I've always thought that this is something that should have always been in the game anyways. I think you should be able to slap t stack two different types of slabs on top of each other. You'd be able to do so much stuff with that, and yet we can't. But I can, because I got the texture packs, so um, I made that. I am I don't regret it. I'm pretty happy with it now. 
Uh, I also have this gray wood right here because people always ask me, rightfully so, because it is like a newer thing that a lot of people aren't used to, but people are always like, why in the world did you make the, uh, the, the, the officer's quarters roof gray? Look at these photos. It's wood, obviously. Why'd you make it gray? Is it concrete? No. I understand, but it's gray painted wood, and that's generally what's most accepted nowadays in the Titanic community. Um, so this is just to hopefully make it a little less confusing when you come on the ship and somebody who doesn't know about it, they see this gray wood and they at least know that it's wood and it's not something crazy like concrete or, you know, metal or something like that. Um, other things to the texture pack, uh, let's see, you can see right here I have like this black trap door. This is not only of course used for the black trap, like, you know, black details around the ship, but also catwalks is its main purpose, because it looks really nice for catwalks, which Kyle's going to have a field day with that, because um, catwalks are always really difficult to make in default Minecraft. Uh, the snow here is quartz. I think you probably would have never known, but yeah, it's quartz. Uh, looks a lot better, I mean, I can probably do a lot with that now as well, um, since it won't, you know, it'll be seamless matching all the quartz I use around the ship rather than looking like snow. Um, with here, with the shear line, this is something I kind of, an inspiration I took from Prinz Jorgen. Uh, I have like the shear line basically slabbing up rather than going up by a block, which I think looks really nice. Um, it's it just makes it I don't know it looks makes it look higher resolution. It doesn't make the ship look as blocky, and it also shapes the hull a lot better. Uh, like if you come down here and look at the hull, I in my opinion you're probably not gonna be able to notice it. I'm sorry, but in my opinion it looks like the ship it shapes the bow a lot better. Uh, gives it the proper contours compared to over here, as you can see where I haven't updated it. Uh, compared to how the full block makes it look. As I said, it's probably something only I'm gonna be I'm gonna notice just because you know I'm I'm the one nitpicking my own project so much, but uh, I do like it a lot. And it also makes like I don't know views like this look really clean. Um, this it would look a lot better if the shader wasn't so foggy. Uh, but yeah, speaking of the shader, I'm gonna take it off so we can go under the ship a little bit and show you guys some things that. It for the texture pack, I have other little blocks here and there that have changed. Like I have blue, better blue stairs now than warped. Um, and I don't know, I have also this pitch pine. Uh, this deck and a lot of other decks around the ships where crew was really active uh, was made out of pitch pine rather than yellow pine. I'm assuming just because it was a little more resilient to all the wear and tear that it was going to experience. But it was a little darker than yellow pine, so you could see down here on the well deck compared to here on B deck. Uh, it's a darker shade of wood, and that also is going to be used around the interior of the ship where pitch pine was used a lot. And uh, now that might be it for... Oh yeah, okay, I'm sorry, i got to keep going back. We have the stone texture, uh, which stone, if you didn't know, is just a color used by White Star Buff around a lot of different crew spaces, and also the inter interior of the lifeboats. Um, when you go to the boiler rooms, you're going to see that uh, the walls are painted in this color and it was used in a lot of different crew quarters and things like that so I now have a respective block for that come over here to the uh, reciprocating engines these little ones that Kyle made up that have been sitting here for like two years probably probably um, we now have a custom light mass texture as well which is the proper color for it rather than this puke yellow one that um, a lot of people complain about rightfully so it doesn't match at all what light mass looked like but I've always been one to want to make all the colors differentiate each other because light mast stone and white star buff all can basically be represented best by mushroom but I didn't want you to walk in the boiler room or walk in the reciprocating engine room and ask why you know the reciprocating engines are painted with white star buff and things like that I don't know it's just a, it's a little pet peeve of mine for some reason I wanted to, all the colors to be you know be differentiated and be distinct from each other so um, I'm now able to do that with a custom texture pack. I didn't make a white star buff color just because I tried it out and it didn't look like a vanilla Minecraft oddly enough. It kind of looked like it was taking the texture pack a little too far. And I also couldn't make any buttons or stair white star buff blocks because I just didn't have uh, enough available blocks to me anymore. So I think it's fine. I think the mushroom serves its purpose and looks perfectly fine. That being said, though, now I think that's everything I want to go over with the texture pack. Like I said, not too much, but it just really cleans up the ship, and it makes it look a lot better than it would otherwise. Uh, as for things we've actually built on the ship now, um, you can see that we've I've been working on the rigging a lot, and it really brings the ship to life. I've always wanted to build the rigging, but I couldn't do it on Bedrock. 
or I could, but I was going to wait until I absolutely had to to build it because uh, you can't just go, you know, go from point A to point B, type in a command, and it builds it for you like you can on Java. You have to literally figure out how to pattern out these blocks for it to perfectly go from that point to that point. So it is a ton of trial and error, but thankfully now that on Java, don't got to deal with it. Just, you know, pull off the wand and hit two blocks and then type in a command and it's done. Uh, rigging does still require a lot of research though, mainly because most rigging plans represent the ship as she was in port and there was a lot of differences between the rigging uh, when the ship was docked compared to out at sea. My version of Titanic is here out at sea, so there's a little less rigging than what you see on the rigging plans. And I still have to do hand build some of them because like lines like this uh, have slack to them. Or even the aerials, they have slack, or these hull yards, uh, they have a little bit of slack to them as well. So still some of them have to hand build. But um, I have a pretty good way to build all those and it's not hard at all. I'll probably make a video like eventually to show you guys how to build rigging. Because um, uh, it's, it's a pretty easy way in my opinion. Uh, I've also built this aerial up here which I had to redo like a million times because I didn't research it beforehand. It was my fault. Uh, do more research before you start building things. Don't rush it because then you're just going to have to spend more time rebuilding it. It's really annoying. Just don't do it. Save yourself the trouble. Um, in here, I just want to show some things, like, we can now have the invisible item frames, which I have to really restrain myself from abusing, because these things are crazy. You can do so many things with this, and if I use them too much, the world's gonna lag, so I gotta just really restrain myself. Uh, but I'm gonna use some things for, like, light switches right here, if you come in the officer's mess. We got, I use them for the barometer and the clock on the wall. So, they're really cool. I'm super happy that we have these and we also have custom heads as well so if you come down here in uh, like the lounge you can see we now have the custom lamp shades for uh well, the, we have the lamp shades using the custom heads which is really nice and uh, where else do I, oh, I use them for like little details also like just little personal touches like if you come in captain smith's sitting room got a little book right here i don't know stack of books i think it kind of brings life to the ship. I want to do things like that. I want to make the ship feel alive. That's always been my a big priority for me is not having just an empty ghost ship that you're exploring. Also got a pretty uh, pretty dope toilet paper head here too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think that's really it though. I don't think there's much else to go over. Um, so I can show you guys some stuff we've done with the debug stick. Which is, uh, I can now disconnect things like this ladder or all the ladders around the ship only connect them at the ends which is really nice and even things like this uh, these vents right here um, still don't really look like vents but if you look at a photo and you kind of reference to what you see right here now these you can actually kind of tell what they're representing they're not just all connected to each other because they're placed you know right next to each other I can now disconnect them and have them facing their respective directions and I can do a lot of cool details too like these joints on the uh, pipes right here and I think I do that. I do the same thing with over here. You can see we now have all these brackets for the pipes, which is really cool. It's just a tiny little detail that I can add, and um, just brings brings more accuracy to the ship. So I'm really happy about that. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, so honestly, I do think that that is really all I have to show. Like I said, a little bit of a shorter up. Oh wait, I'm completely wrong. Sorry. Let's go to the stern real quick. Um, I have built the, I've been working on the stern, and I also built all the portholes as you can see. Um, the portholes, even though there's a ton of them, it's not that hard to, they weren't, they weren't that hard to build. It was kind of therapeutic to build them, and it's just like plotting, plopping little dots all around the ship. It was, it was kind of fun, honestly. You can see that all this diamond is the stern plating, uh, thing in the works. A lot more difficult than the bow plating, that's for sure, but slowly but surely coming through and it's getting built and it's not the worst thing in the world i will tell you though what was the worst thing in the world and i hope you can see it is these boss arms these boss or the the wings they were pretty difficult to build um i thought it would be something that takes me like a day maybe uh let me let me put on night vision i thought it'd be something that would take me not that long to build at all um i thought it would just a day and done but no this took me like three days to build it was super difficult and definitely 
the most challenging thing I've ever built on this ship, and I see why 3D modelers complain about having to work on this so much. I'm pretty happy with how, the, how it came out though, I'm glad I took my time. I think it looks pretty smooth the way it transitions into the rest of the, the stern. I'm pretty happy with it, and whoops, I'm pretty happy with it, and I don't have any complaints aside from how annoying it was to build, so. Um, now, now I think we have everything. So, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm super glad we're now on Java. We can do a lot more, and we can even build the ship a little quicker now that we have World Edit. And um, just hopefully, uh, I'm in hard at work on the exterior. Um, as I said, I build. It's this is a passion project above anything. So I just I build on my own time. I usually go for like maybe two months at a time where I'm building a ton and I got a lot of motivation and I get all this work done and then I'll go. A few months after that without touching the ship at all and that's just because it's a passion project I'm not gonna build anything when I really don't want to because I come out of, with a product that I'm not happy with and I end up having to rebuild it anyways and I end up lacking patience and I don't do all the research that I need to because there's a ton of research that goes into this this rendition of Titanic so uh, I just I build at my own pace so I have been working on the exterior though I'm trying to hopefully guys get, get you guys a download the exterior soon and I appreciate you guys being so patient and sticking through me with me through all the what three years we've been working on this exterior really is coming to a wrap so as you can see there's not much left so that being said hopefully it shouldn't be too long until you guys can explore the exterior for yourself and do whatever you want with the ship blow it up use it for animations I don't care I, I would love to see what you guys do with it but as I said thank you guys for just sticking with me all this time uh, supporting me and I hope that you know your support will be warranted soon when you guys can explore the ship for yourself so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate uh, you taking your time out of your day to watch me ramble on about the ship and I hope that you guys have an amazing blessed day take care